Hey, welcome to a super fun look at Codebreaker, or some like to say, Codebreaker. Are you ready? This is a super fun game. Four teams. Everyone's trying to guess one code. Well, it's four different codes, but the first one to guess their unique code will win the game. My name's Brad, and for the next couple minutes, I'm gonna be walking you through how to turn down the music and do a tutorial video. Hey, my name is Brad and I'm here to talk you through how to play Codebreaker, how to set it up, how to host it, and have a, had a good time with your fans or with your crowd. I'm gonna hit reset game real quick and that'll turn off the music. Uh, just to share our setup real quick, uh, above me is the, that's the game screen. It's in logo mode right now. And that same screen is on the, on the, the television behind me. And then up to the right, up to the, your right, my left, uh, that is the UI screen over there. And so that is what is on this computer screen. So to set this game up, I've got a laptop and I've, I've got a second computer, a second display connected behind me. So it can be a TV, projector, whatever you want. I'm going HDMI from this uh, laptop to that TV. And when I do that, I go to my system preferences, make sure I've got extended display turned on or on a Mac, you make sure that mirroring is turned off. So it's two separate displays. And when you do that, when you click this on or off button right up here, you can see that's my desktop display, hit on and boom, there you go. You got a game you're ready to play. So this, that is what your, uh, the game, or the, the crowd's gonna see. And then you're gonna control everything from this UI uh, right here on the laptop screen. Okay, so let's move in. Let me just show you real quick how this game's gonna work. So I kind of showed you the, the logo button there. That's gonna turn the game mode. We're on logo mode right now. And we can have that up on the big screen while we're setting up everything down here. And really, there's not a lot to set up on this game. This is a simple game. The, there's four unique codes. The first team to guess their code is the winner. That's the whole game. Now, there's a couple of sabotages and some good times along the way. So to set it up, all you're going to do is you're going to greet your uh, uh, greet your uh, players. Say so coming up, and then you can type in their team name. So like you can see each one. It's either going to be the four players or four teams. So it could just be uh, Brad, Joe, and then uh, I'll go Joe because and then uh, Brian, and then let's go Bailey, B-A-I-L-E-Y. So we got uh, Brad, Joe, Brian, and Bailey, and you don't have to put the colors in there, but I am just for this one to make it a little bit easier so you know what we're playing. So once you're set up, that's it. I'm gonna hit save names. As soon as I hit save names, you'll see it's gonna go up to the screen over there, and then I'm ready to play the game. So I go into game mode. I'm gonna go into game mode, that logo screen goes away, and you can see right here in the middle, it says next round, so I'm gonna click on that UI and I'm just gonna click next and you're gonna see it's gonna automatically go to the blue team. The game's gonna tell you where to go and what to do. And what's really fun, up here at the top, Brian's put in lots of, of hints and tips and it tells you exactly what to do. So you're gonna be hitting that next button in the middle. It's gonna be the main button you're gonna be hitting and then it's gonna tell you what to do. So it says blue team select a four digit code. So in this first round, everyone's gonna get a turn. So you can say, okay, I just need a four digit code, any, any number you want. And they're gonna say, well, I'll take one, uh, two, three, four, and that's it. One, two, three, four. That's my code. So you can see I can hit plus or minus to bump in, and I'll say, okay, one, two, three, four. That's that's the code you want. I say, yep. So I'm gonna hit check blue, and he says it says waiting on check blue. So you can't click anything here right now. I click check blue, and you'll see up above, up, up above. You can see right here. It's got above. It's got an indicator. Those are the hints, and those are telling you those numbers are, are higher, and the four is down lower. So Nice and simple. So now they go. Okay. So now, now that's done, hit next. It goes to the next person. So what's your code? Uh, well, I'm just going to do uh, three, uh, two, three, uh, three, six. Okay. Click check yellow, and then that's going to lock in. You can see. So, oh, wow, it's the same thing. Three up higher, it's one lower. So you can see that's the whole game. So this first round, you're just getting them kind of knocked in there. Hit next. And you say, okay, this is kind of how you do it. So, all right, green player, you're up. What's your code? What do you want to guess? And they're going to say, hey, well, you know, I'm not an idiot. If it's random, I'm going to go there in the middle. Let's go five, 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 five. So go uh, five, and you can go plus or minus to get there. Oh, went too far. Five. So five, 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 uh, five. Okay. Uh, that's it. You're good. Uh, does five, five, five look good to you? Looks good on the screen. Okay, we're going to lock that in. Let's check it. And it looks like, okay, you're every other one's higher or lower. Okay, nice. Then we're gonna go on to, so they're done with their round, so we're gonna hit the next button right here in the middle. It's gonna go to uh, Brian uh, the Red. Now, some people are always asking, hey, can we just type in a number? And you can, if you hit like a three on the keyboard, hit the plus, you can go up or down one. So you have to hit the, so you can't hit enter, you have to hit the plus or, uh, plus or minus, but it will recognize the keyboard. So it won't get you there completely, but it gets you one off. So if they say four, uh, if they wanna go to five, you say four plus, 
uh, four plus and four plus, and that'll get you across it if you want to. So we're trying to make concessions, trying to make it as easy as possible, but the plus or minus works better for the code for other reasons. So that's why you can't just type it in, hit enter, a whole other thing, but just trust us. That's the best way to do it for us right now. So uh, we're gonna check that one. It looks like, now you'll see on this one, they've got three is lower and then there's a dot above and below and say so on your hints, that means that five is locked in. So you got three, uh, that number's gonna be lower, five is locked in, then five, you're, the, the, the code's actually lower than that, lower than that. Okay, now here we go. We're going into round two. Everyone's made their guesses, everyone understands the game, we're having a good time, but here we go into round two. Now what you're gonna see, now on each side, you've, all, you've opened up three sabotages. Okay, those, those sabotages, you can now do something against the player. So let's walk through what each one of those are. You'll see a little guy in the hat, that's the hack. What the hack will do, will hide the hints above and below so that way they won't be able to see what their hints are. I know that sounds silly, but that's a really, it's a really good hack because uh, it's a really good sabotage because when you can't see it, you can actually uh, lose numbers because something's locked in that might accidentally turn them off. So that's a good hack. And then going down, the next one is the zap. So the, the sabotage zap, Will, will zap one letter and just blow it away. So that digit of their code will be gone and a new number will be there. So their code is actually a new code now. So they'll have to start over on that one. And the last one is the skip and that will actually skip their turn. So those are your three hacks. So right now it's still a race to see who can guess first, but those sabotages can help you sabotage other players along the way. It's gonna add some drama. It makes this game really, really fun to play. And you can see uh, if it, for you playing along, we have a music slider at the bottom. So there's thinking music going on. And then there's also the logo music that's back there. Those are both controlled by the music slider. And I just wanted to make sure uh, that I've got that turned down for now. So just so you know, as we're doing the tutorials there, the sound effects though, I'm gonna go ahead and leave those up because that way you can hear all the explosions and the, the clicks and the zaps and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so next up, we're now down to blue turn. So we're starting round two and all I'm hitting is that next button in the middle and the game knows who's going next. So it makes it really super easy to host that we hope you don't get lost. If you're ever not sure what to do, you can click that button and up at the top, it'll tell you blue team select a four digit code. Okay. So they're at one, two, three, four. They know that one's higher, two's higher than that. So I'm just gonna go um, type in four, five, uh, six, and two. I'm gonna check that and it is, okay. So I got five and six are locked in. Now I've got the option. I can now, blue team can now choose a sabotage if they want. You don't have to, but you've only got three for the whole game. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and use mine. So I'm going to, on the UI, I'm gonna say I wanna hack uh, the yellow team. So if I hit the hack, once I hit that and you see, if you want to turn it off, you just click it again. I'll turn it back off. So Brian, good job on the UI there. That's really great. So if you click that and you can see the hack button pops up here in three different locations, I'm just going to click hack on the green. You'll see the green, uh, the green player is now their hack. They can't see their hints. So they don't know what they're doing. So now when I go to the next round, it's like, Oh no, I've got a guess, but I can't see if I'm higher or lower. I can't, if I, if I wasn't paying attention, I won't remember what my numbers were. So I'm gonna guess, I guess that one's higher, that one's higher, that one's higher, and that one's lower. That's my best guess. Gonna check that one. Okay, kind of close to where I was. Didn't make a whole bunch, but I'm gonna use my sabotage. So yellow's turn now, it's now, I can now sabotage somebody else. So I'm gonna zap blue, cause they, they got me, so I was turning around as fair play, right? So I hit the zap button, and you can see, I can now zap any of these letters, but because the six is locked in on the blue, so I would say, I wanna, I wanna zap blue six. So when I hit zap, it is, gone away. So at this point, this is where this game, these sabotages are what makes this game, when people start fighting with each other, it turns hilarious because you can win at any time. So the tension's always high, but the, the, the competition of them sabotaging each other makes this game super fun to watch. So it's a lot of good drama. Okay, so uh, click next. So I'm just gonna click next. Love the little hints, super helpful. So let's say I'm gonna go uh, down one, up one, down two, and up two and say, check that. Now I'm hosting this. Someone playing would just tell you what the new code number is going to be. So they're going to, they would have just said four, six, three, seven. So the, the players would just give you a number and you would just edit the numbers to make that four, six, three, seven. Does that look good? Lock it in. That's how you'd kind of do it from a hosting standpoint. Uh, this is a brand new game. I would show you that live, but we haven't played it live yet. So hopefully we'll have that soon. Okay. So, uh, now I'm going to, um, because we have that lock, all locked in, I'm going to go ahead and skip. Uh, the red player. So I'm gonna hit skip with my thing. If I decide not to, I can always hit back on, but I'm gonna hit that, uh, hit the skip uh, sabotage. You see I got three options here, but I'm gonna skip red. So hit skip. And so you'll see 
it does a little animation and now you see that skip is right so that's what uh that's what the 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 the, 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 the audience is what well, couldn't make really think of that name so that's what the audience is seeing right now so they're saying they're skipped but from your screen you can see all of this and so i'm going to say um, i'm just going to click next to head down to the next round so now when i was at green's turn it's now red's turn but they've been skipped so there's nothing i can do and it even says at the top our little our little hint up here uh, red skip, so you click next again. And so because we skipped them, they're skipped, but now you can see them again, but now we're on to blue because they've been skipped. So that way, when they are skipped, it says skip, then once you're past, they're not skipped anymore, but it's not their turn yet. So when they come back around, they'll be back in their life. So that's how that works. Okay, uh, so moving on. So uh, player blue, uh, you, that, that third digit's a whole new number now. Okay, so what's your code now? I'm saying, well, I know it's a five, so let's go, Two five five, oh, so we'll go uh, two five five. Actually, let's make it one. One. Let's check that. Oh, okay. Okay. So that, well, I know what that one is now. I'm pretty sure I know what that is. And I'm going to skip the yellow team. So yellow. Sorry, you've been skipped. Fun little animation plays. Okay, we're moving on. So that means uh, now when I hit next, it's going to go to, to yellow's turn. But yellow, sorry, you've been skipped. We'll catch you next round. So hit next again, now I'm back down to green. So green, green, you don't have any numbers locked in, but still, you could win it right here. This is it, what's your number? And I'm gonna go uh, 6855. Five. So let's go uh, 6855, five. Oh, is that all good? 6855, five. 6855, five. let's lock it in. Check it, okay, you got the eight locked in. Higher and lower there, so you know if they're paying attention that they've done the math in their head, they're, they're, they're narrowing that thing down. I'm playing four games and running it and doing a tutorial video, so I have no clue what that number is, but somebody who plays a lot would be pretty close. Okay, so now I'm gonna do a hack. I'm gonna hack, uh, I'm gonna hack yellow, uh, yellow. Sorry, yellow, get hacked again. I love that animation, super fun. Uh, so let's go next. Okay, so now it's Red's turn. Red, you could win the whole thing right here. What do you think it is? Well, I think it's gonna go, uh, let's go uh, one, two, three. Let's check that. Oh my gosh, the five and the two were there. Red, you are so close. You're very close. Uh, who do you want to hack? Uh, so red, I'm going to skip blue. So he's going to skip blue. So sorry, blue, but you've been skipped. Go to the next one. So you can see this game starts moving pretty quick. You get around that horn pretty quick. Uh, this game lasts about 10 minutes. You got a strategy when you're not explaining everything. But eight to 12, but probably about a 10 minute game. Uh, next. Okay, so now uh, yellow, you've been hacked, so you have no clue to this, so I don't remember it all. So I'm just gonna hit uh, four, I'm just gonna make up some numbers and check that. And uh, wow, I did pretty good. Okay, I got fours locked in there. And I'm going to, uh, you know what? I don't need to sabotage anybody. I'm gonna save those for later because I'm a smart person, I'm gonna save for later. So let's head on down here to next. And then, so you can see this game would just continue to go like that. And so I'm going to uh, hit five, Eight's locked in, three, and seven. I'm gonna check that. And you would keep on going like this. You all don't need to see me play the whole game, but I'm going to go ahead and jump to it because you'll see there's no winner button here. And so usually when we're playing these games, I can just show you, and so you keep on going and hit the winner button, but this game automatically calculates when the win happens. So what I can do here uh, is I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna tell you a couple little tricks if you ever mess up. If you ever need to, if you accidentally forgot to do something and say like, I uh, like this team, like say, oh, let's go next. Oh, I forgot to, uh, I forgot for green, didn't do my sabotage. Just hit next again, come back to them, go up and come back down. So it's the same code, check that and that will unlock their, um, their, um, their sabotage. So you can just use that next button, come back around, you can do that. If you wanna give some an extra turn, you can give them an extra turn if you want to. So uh, five is, uh, yeah, look at my thing. So five's less. I can go five's lower, three's more, seven here. I'm just gonna try to get to a win cycle because I want y'all to see the win cycle because that's really fun. Check green. Let's go down one more time. Three and then up six. Let's check that. Oh, and that's it. You can hear the music's going. All right, congratulations, green. You got the code. Great job, thanks for playing everybody, but today our winner was the green team. Congratulations, green. You are a winner for today. Here's your free t-shirt. Um, so that's how the game works. Super fast, super fun game, and it's it's hard to explain it when I'm trying to be four people and host and do that, 
but I hope you can catch the sense of the energy and the sense of the fun that this is. It is a super, super uh, fun game, super fun to host, super fun to play. People get really, really competitive for this. This is a great game if you're gonna be playing it over and over multiple times. When people play this the third and fourth time, they start getting their strategies down, they really get into it. So if you have a venue where you're gonna be playing multiple times, this is a great one to have. So we like to pair this with other games, like you play a game with a, a, a whole crowd game and everybody plays, you take the top four people and you bring them into Codebreaker and then whoever wins Codebreaker is your final winner. So this is a fantastic game to have everybody play and you focus it down to four in a stage game and that's your uh, winner to get one winner from the whole audience. So just something to think about there. Pairing games is the way to do it, super fun. All right, uh, so that is Codebreaker. I'm trying to think if there's any other things I missed. Uh, you got the sabotages, I think you saw those. The zap's my favorite, it's really cool. You can skip people, you can sabotage people, but you just keep playing. You got all the buttons are right here. Um, that's it, it's an awesome game, super fun to host, super fun to play. We think you guys are gonna love it. So uh, that is, uh, that's Codebreaker. And uh, we kind of went to the, we're leaning to the spy vibe here, so I hope you're kind of caught on that, you know, spy. It's, uh, it's kind of like, um, it's not Spy Kids, but it's not Jason Bourne, but not quite Bond, but we're kind of kind of in between all of those, kind of just floating around, so. Good times. All right, so welcome to Codebreakers. Have fun, and just, I don't know how, I'm trying to work, figure out how to work this in well. Codebreakers, can you hack it? That's a tagline, can you hack it? See, because they're hacking the sabotages, they're hacking them. That's good, right? That's good, that's good, I think that's good. All right, Codebreakers, can you hack it? All right, player three, what's your code? Oh, you couldn't hack it, or you got hacked. All right, good times. It's a great game, you're gonna love it. Super fun, good times. All right, thanks for playing. We'll see you later. See you next time.